Isn't that like the petrol gasoline that you used to make cocaine? Really? Acetate. Hell yes. Yeah, yeah it's acetate. Hola, uh, check out. I need your key. Ah, it's on the bed. I've left it on the bed. Ah, okay. Perfect. Is that okay? Okay. Right. Gracias. You looking forward to cool your cam, mate? Yeah, I'm excited. It's the end of the journey. We drove for four days for this. Or is it three? How many days to the end of the road? This will be the third. Let's see if it was all worth it. Is it worth popping to the shop? Just get drinks yeah. before we set off. Let's get some Coke zeros. Let's get 20 Coke zeros. Gracias. Have a good one. Oh my God, it is so hot out here. Ooh, and I'm still in my poncho. Look, it's even steaming up. How are you still wearing this? Look, your camera lens is too, too hot for this climate even. <laughs> here you are wearing a poncho, dressed for winter in Norway. <laughs> yeah, I chuck the stuff in the back. Jesus. What? You've been like this since we parked yesterday? You didn't put the window down? No, it was bald in it the front. It was bald in the front. Oh the my back. God, you didn't leave anything in here, did you? I don't think so. There's sombreros in there, so that's the main thing. They haven't took our Coke Zero for me. Yeah, but Paul is not that dumb. I mean, he wouldn't have forgotten to. Well, they've not smashed it. The glass is still there. Mate, he's left it down. Mate, have you seen what you've done? You left the passenger window open. I'm protected by the cartels. What's well, mate, it can't be that dangerous. Our sombreros are still there. No one's exactly. pinched them. Yeah, who was sitting in the front seat yesterday? <laughs> you. <laughs> right, we done? Yeah. We'll pop into the shop. Are we driving then? No, we'll walk to the Why one. Get drinks and stuff. I tell you what, Harold, it's a lot cooler in this poncho. You right. should have got one. Yeah, I'm thinking about it. You know, seeing as you hardly sweat at all. It's like having internal air conditioning. Can I try yours then? No. You know, no? No. You're very possessive it... with your poncho, you don't lend well, it man, out I've to your mate. I've got nothing on underneath it, so. Ah, go in commando. Exactly. How Scottish of you. Yes, yes. Gracias. Let's have a nice day. Right, the final stretch, boys. How are you feeling? Cool you can. Are we doing the free roll today? Get off the highway and do the local road? Yeah, sure, I'm up for that. We're doing the no highways allowed whatsoever. Yep, I second that motion of Harold's. From what that guy was saying yesterday, though, you turn down the wrong road on those free roads, you're going to be in trouble. That's why we've got Henry the Navigator. <laughs> That's why we've got this amazing navigator over here. Somehow I just always end up on the right road. These amateurs, I'm still in my poncho. Where's yours? Mine's in the car. Don't you worry about me. That poncho will be on in two seconds <laughs> in this 45 degree heat. I don't know how you're wearing that. <laughs> Oh, why? <laughs> <laughs> why, it looks lovely, what are you on about? The good old Micra's done us proud, isn't she? I think I'm gonna have to take this poncho off, it's too hot. No, 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 no mate, listen, you look on. good on it, it's Mexican, <laughs> and you've worn it the whole journey. Don't you think you'll regret it? Hang in there, Simon. Hang in there, I will. Right, right we're setting off. Harold, are you on the navigation or what, mate? Um, or am I just gonna do I'm it? I'm back here, oh, I'm in charge of fire water. Bugger, it's hot. Can we move and get some fresh air? <laughs> it's unreal. <laughs> you and your lack of flipping <laughs> aircon, you're unbelievable, you guys. <laughs> the greatest <laughs> mystery on this trip is how the hell Simon is surviving as a driver in a poncho built or made for trekking through the North Pole and now you have actually not complained once whilst you've been driving. Thank you for pointing that out, Harold. Adios, Gracias. Adios. Gracias. Adios. Have a great day. Our first stop, we've just stopped to stretch our legs. We've come across this, which you've got across here, three graves. Any idea what that says on there? No idea, just his name. It's rare that you see that, isn't it? We're in the middle of nowhere here, like. Isn't that like the petrol gasoline that you used to make cocaine? Really? Acetate. Hell yes. Yeah, yeah it's acetate. What is it? What does it say? Acetate. It's acetate? Yeah. So they use that to make cocaine? I believe so. Mate, we need to get out of here. Well, but you're gonna 
Bloody hell, it's crazy that, wasn't it? Strange to find it. Just Do you so. think that's what they used to make it? When I've seen documentaries before in Colombia and things, when they wanted to steal it into cocaine, the coca leaves, they use an acetate to break it down. So, um, listen, I don't know. Now we're actually on the free road going to Culiacan from Mazatlan. So this is like the main free road that goes through the whole of Sinaloa. As you can see, there's not a lot round at all. It's just mountains and jungle and just all green, really. Another pit stop in the middle of nowhere. Could How far are we from Culiacan now, Mr. Navigator? It's probably about 100k, I'd say. It's about time we stop for some ice cream. I agree. Ooh. This is the shop we're dealing with. Tienes Magnum. We've got a good choice here, mate. Right, I'm gonna try a Solero. Anybody want a Solero? No, I'm gonna have a beer. Solero? Tienes cerveza? Uh, oh no, Solero. Mate, it's nice. Wow. So since when have you ever said that ice flies. cream was not nice? I'm just testing the Mexican cuisine. And yeah, they're all good, right? They are, really good. Wow. This um, is a Solero. We don't have Soleros like this in the no. UK. So we paid. No, they don't have any cash. I'll get you what Once again, kind-hearted Benjamin has to pay and pay everyone out. How much is the beer? Um, I'm not too sure. Can you get my Pringles as well, please, mate? By the passenger seat. I'll get your Pringles. Why are you getting in? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't like the sound of this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Mate, you Harold, you know he took the car, don't you? Yeah, he did. But we have beer. Why do we care? We have beer and soleros. You best come back. You best not leave us here long. You told me there's a couple of villages here. I thought it was just a highway. Are the villages off the road, are they? Or There's two. She said there was one up there. One over here, and yeah. those are the customers in this shop. I'm gonna check to see where he's gone with this car. Knowing him, he will have left us here for a while, I'm telling you. Well, you can see right down there, no sign of him there, and no sign of him here either. Mr. Bald and Bankrupt, best hurry up, because I am boiling out here. I take another one. Okay. Ah, gracias. Ice cream number two. But it's just a starter, right? Exactly. Here we go, look who's come crawling back. Crawling back. That's a little adventure. Mate, you're welcome to go for a bit longer if you want. Yeah, for sure. Look at the fear on his face. I'm on my second ice lolly. Where the hell did you go? What do you mean, where do I go? I don't have to tell you everything that I do in Sinaloa. Well, you were long enough. Yeah, I just went out and scored some, um, you know, I just went out for a little drive. I mean, what? <laughs> Hanging out with my mates in the Pueblo. As you do. As you do when you're in Sinaloa. Should we get moving again before I buy every ice lolly in that freezer? I think we need to save you from um, yeah, what you're going to do if we don't leave. Hey, Geraldo, you ready? Uh, give me a second. Uh, yeah. For the first time on this road trip, I'm actually a passenger. How do you find it to drive, mate? Easy, mate. I don't know what you're complaining oh, about. Oh, yeah. And unlike 15 you... 15 hours in. Unlike you, when I see a speed bump, I understand it means slow down, not speed up. <laughs> Oh, geez. Oh, just, yeah. Hey, yeah. Uh, I did that for... Sorry, what did you just say? I did that for Simon to make him feel at home. And that's how you drive a wrist speed bump. See that? Smoothly up, smoothly down. That's how a hombre tackles a speed bump in this country. Not like you, Simon. Oh, I'm so hot. Hotel, it isn't noir. You're hot? Yeah, I know. Can you at least keep the car straight, Mr. Ball? What are you talking about? My driving is perfect. It's like as straight as a die. I don't know what's wrong with you guys. Simon, Look at it. never once weird, of course. Thank you, Harold. Okay, he may not slow down for speed bumps, but at least he drove straight over them. Paul, you're more in the bush than on the road. Taxi drivers, can you um, just be quiet please and settle down whilst we're driving? I'm negotiating our route through cartel country and all you're doing is making jokes. Do you know how much I've got to concentrate? There could be snipers in the bushes, there could be sicarios on the street corners, and I'm going to get you through this in one piece. And you're just like, oh, you're not respecting my skills. We're still on the Libra Highway to Culiacan, which is the free road, so we're not on any toll roads. We're just on the normal public road. We're still in the middle of nowhere, there's like still mountains. Can you believe how green it is? Yeah, it's been a surprise actually. I mean, we passed through some spectacular scenery. I didn't know there was something that was so mountainous here. I mean, yeah. if you look out your window, you see the beauty of Sinaloa. Sinaloa is a beautiful place. I thought it was going to be like sort of deserts and cactus and stuff like that. I thought it'd be a lot drier. It's been interesting because the more we're getting into Sinaloa, the less police. We haven't seen a policeman for ages now, have we? I haven't seen one on this entire road. It makes you wonder who runs these streets. Yeah, exactly.
right, it's time for the best driver to get back in the seat. Harold's driving now? Are you joking? Harold, the best driver. Well, he can't even you. read a map, never mind drive. I'm back where I belong. We need to get some petrol before we reach Cool You Can. All right, let's do it then. Pemex pit stop, yay. Come How on. many hours of driving have we done? You have probably done something like 24 hours of driving. Bold has probably done five minutes, and in the span of those five minutes, we were off the road almost <laughs> twice, definitely <laughs> once. So, uh, yeah, yeah, it's good to have you back, Simon. For those for five you minutes, four of them were off the road. Yeah. <laughs> no more driving for you, Mr. Baldy. Fair enough, fair enough. We'll get some petrol in, or yeah. we're not going to reach cool you can. Which one of you's putting the petrol in? I think they do it, don't they? I've never do been they? to one where we do it. We're at the diesel one, though. Can yeah, we? we're at the diesel, Simon. Come on, you're the worst driver oh, ever. Well, we need to go to the petrol. Then. Come on. Hola. Uh, full. Gracias. The last petrol stop before Cool You Can. Oh, honestly, I can't tell you how happy I am to be getting there. It's been such a long drive. To be honest, it's been harder than it probably looks on camera just because of the roads are so bad, they're like bumpy and stuff. So it definitely has not been a straightforward drive. And we've been in a Nissan Micra. What do you reckon, mate? Last stop. Oh, mate, I'll be happy to get there. Hopefully, we've chosen uh, a good hotel. This one's not been left to you, so yeah, it's going to be better than yeah. last night. Simon has never failed in a hotel hunt. Thank so you, Harold. It's going to be a great hotel. Hotel. Harold, thank you, mate. Hotel. So we started off uh, with you, Harold the Navigator. You lucked and out. We're ending with it. You lucked out with one hotel decision. That's what you did. He did luck out with that. Why he did. not? Why yeah. not? It wasn't bad at all. I'll give you that. Exactly. I know that. That's the quality in. It was quality. Only quality for Mr. Bald and Bankrupt. Are you looking forward to getting to Cool You Can? I'm looking forward to dive right into that pool. Oh man. It's been a long few days, isn't it? In this say, driving, like in this car it's and stuff. Time for a cartel pool party. How's it been in the back, by the way? This car was not made for six foot plus giants. It wasn't made for broad shouldered Chad alpha males like yourself, <laughs> you're right. But uh, I've survived somehow. Fireball, <laughs> that's, you know. The fireballs. Yeah, fireballs you helped him see I've had truth. to be a responsible driver yeah. and I've you stuck drunk. to the Coca-Cola. Although we kept trying to give you um, alcohol, you were like, no, I'm not gonna do that. We were like, come on, Simon, join the fun. You were like, guys, my job is to get safely to Kulikan. And brother, and you did almost. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa, whoa, whoa don't whoa, speak whoa. too soon. Almost. Don't almost. speak too I, soon. Actually, there is like 15 minutes left. <laughs> so I'm not celebrating, so I'm in that swing pool. 560. 560? Gracias, senor. Right, let's make this last 15 minutes. And hopefully, we're not going to have any hiccups. I'm putting on my sombrero for my arrival in Culiacan, the cartel capital of Sinaloa. This Nissan Micra has done us proud, doesn't it? It's been a ride. It's been way better than I thought. I was kind of shocked. I didn't want to be angry at the start of the journey, but when I saw the car you got for us, vis-a-vis yeah. -vis the car that you kind of had promised, you know, I felt, wow, this is going to be a hell of a journey. Harold sponsored by Nissan, by the way. It's news to me. <laughs> We're just coming into Cool You Can now with five minutes from the centre. Should we just find somewhere to park up in the centre and go and check it out? Sounds like a plan. Yeah, go grab something to eat. Feels a bit sketchy holding this camera up here. What's the first impressions on Cool You Can driving in? A lot of street food. Looks modern, doesn't it? It looks better than some of the towns we passed through in other cities. Yeah, definitely. Right, let's find somewhere to park up. Yeah, what's this girl doing in the middle of the road? She's doing the hula hoop. Wow, look at her skills. Cool You Can style. I'm going to do that in Manchester. Earn a few quid. Muchas gracias. Gra gracias. Gracias. Gracias, adios. And we have made it to Cool You Can. Boys. Well done. It's been a long road. Now, if uh, if you both want to take this opportunity to thank Henry the Navigator. Oh, here we go. For getting us here, you're both welcome to. Harold, you're not responsible for anything, mate. Whatever. You just He's never been the Navigator ever again. I'm just joking around. Thank you to Simon, who's responsible for getting us here. Safe and sound. Without Simon, Mexico's greatest driver, we would never have arrived here safely. So thanks again. Oh, well done, mate. mate. Anytime. We're now in the centre of Cool You Can. You've got the Cool You Can sign there. You've got a massive Spanish church or cathedral there. There's been so much Spanish churches on the way here. Let's just pop my nose in and have a look. Can you walk in here? Oh wow, it's pretty big in here. I cannot explain to you how hot it gets as you travel across Mexico. Mexico City, I would actually say it was cold. Here it is absolutely boiling. Everybody's got a face mask here and I was actually reading an article that was saying the cartel said that everybody has to have a face mask on or they're going to have trouble. So I think it's actually more than the government patrolling the face mask in this town. In total we have done just less than like 20 hours of solid driving. Honestly it's been a bit of a push and trying to make a video while driving hasn't been the easiest either. 
say that I am that hot and my hair is that long, I am going to have my first haircut in a foreign country. I don't think I've ever had a haircut in any other country other than the UK. Well, I have had one in the US, but at the same time that was in English still, so I think there might be a bit of a language barrier. But I need to find somewhere first. Hola. But do you know what haircut? Uh, like uh, cut hair? Yeah, like cut anywhere here? Ah, no, it's No worries. Gracias, gracias. I'm going to need to brush up on my Spanish when I get home. It is awful. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to find a hairdresser. Hola. Uh, haircut. Yo creo que por, por aquel lado, por la otra calle. Ah, okay, so this way. Por la otra calle. This way. Ah, la otra. Ah, down there. Ah, gracias. Right, let's check out down here. He said it's down here to the left. I can't see anywhere at the minute, but I'm actually a bit nervous because if they don't speak English, they could absolutely butcher my hair. Ah, barbers. Haircut. Okay, cool. Uh, me for haircut? Great, gracias. It looks pretty nice in here, to be fair. But at the same time, they haven't got a clue what I'm saying. So I don't know how this haircut's going to go. Ah, great, thank you. Uh, yeah, so what I normally have, like 0 0.5, like on the side, and then just cut on top, just a little bit. Thank you. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> right, here we go. Mexico's a beautiful place. Like, I, I'd never been across the country before, and I thought it was going to be like desert and cactus and things, but it's so green with all the mountains and things, isn't it? It's beautiful. So far, so good. I'm slightly nervous, if I'm completely honest, just because obviously I don't speak Spanish, so I haven't got a clue what I'm saying. It looks a legit place, though. Very nice. Yeah, it's looking well. I'm starting to look old. I need to lose a few pounds, get a good haircut, and we'll all be good. <laughs> I don't even know how much this haircut's going to cost, to be honest. I didn't even ask a price. It'd be interesting to see how much it is. In the UK, what? Haircut like this. When I was a kid, it used to be a fiver, but now what you're looking at are 15, 20 quid, I reckon. Starting to get some shape now. Oh, look at that fade. She's doing a good job. I'm happy so far. I tell you what, after driving all this time, I am so tired, man. I'm like jet lagged as well as like driving, like concentrating on those roads. Just like all the lumps and bumps and even the crazy drivers as well. I am just shattered. Had such a good time. I'm so tired. What more here? Uh, what do you think? Just like a little? Okay. Yeah, see? Yeah. Gracias. Yeah. Hi. Hi. We're going short. I'm just looking at the scissors. I think they're kitchen scissors. I'm sure I've got them in the drawer at home. I'm not even joking. They're my kitchen scissors, then. Right, we're back on the razor. The sides are looking good. I'm just a bit worried about on top. I tell you what, at least it'll be cooler here now. With less hair. Flapping like it's hot. I think that probably means why the hell is this guy filming? <laughs> to be fair, we're looking really good now. It's looking shorter, tight around the sides. We're looking good. Is that hair gel, is it? Yeah, yeah. A little... Yeah, yeah. What, what is this? It's a linaza. Linaza? Yeah. It looks like ketchup. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. This ketchup. <laughs> Feeling fresh now. Having a long hair in this heat is not ideal. Oh my god, I feel ten times lighter after having a haircut. Ketchup. The ketchup. <laughs> Muchas gracias. Thank you very much. Nice. Looking good. How much do I owe you? Free for the next time oh. you come here. Free? <laughs> no, 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 no. I can't. I insist. Honestly. I have a, a, a good remember for the time. Oh, I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. Thank you. But honestly, take take this for. No, it's okay. I I give you that. It's no, fine. No, 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 no. No, honestly. Have a good one. See you later. Thanks. This haircut is looking good. She's done a really good job, to be fair. And fair dues to that guy, giving me the haircut for free. What a lovely guy, he didn't have to do that at all. Do you know what though? That sums up Mexico, that last experience then. The people are lovely and super friendly. The country's amazing. I didn't think it'd be half as much as what it was, to be honest. Have I felt threatened at any point? No, not at all. And the thing is as well, if I didn't know about, like obviously the cartel and stuff like that, would 
I've even been scared in the first place. No, you, you only sort of be aware because what you hear in the news and what you're told. You know, if I didn't know about the cartel, you wouldn't even know they're here. And obviously the cartel stuff is going on because you can tell from like the military presence and the police presence going about, but has that impacted me or affected my journey? No, not at all. What a road trip this has been. Honestly, Bald and Harold are two top, top guys. They really are, and I'm not just saying that, but Harold is a terrible navigator. If you ever need a navigator, do not contact Harold Bolden. If you've not checked out Harold and Bold's channels, it's Harold Bolden, Bold and Bankrupt. Super cool content, they travel loads of crazy places, so I definitely recommend checking that out. Honestly, I can't tell you how nice it is just to get out of Europe and to travel again and meet new people, and especially traveling with Bold and Harold, it's been awesome. Hopefully this second wave doesn't come back as bad and things start opening again and we can all travel again. But honestly, I can't thank you enough for all the support over the last like two, three years. It's been a tough year and there's a lot more to come. I'm excited to put all these ideas that I've had this year into action. Oh, talk of the devil, look who it is. Me, what do you think of my haircut? You got a haircut? Yeah, what do you think? Looking sharp. Wow, how much was that? Uh, we may give it me for free. I gave 500 pesos as a tip and he wouldn't accept it, but I made sure he did. But mate, he offered nice it me for free. How good is that? Awesome, awesome. Good job. I was just telling you're my... You're looking five years younger. I was just telling my subscribers how good of a navigator you are, Harold. Geraldo, numero uno, navigatore de Mexico. On that note, I am going to put the camera down and enjoy Culiacan and do some exploring. We're also going to have some local cuisine. What do you think, Harold? The last proper Mexican meal of this journey. Woohoo! Burger King. <laughs> Any last words, Harold? Yes, uh, I'm gonna have to say Forza, even though that's Italian, Dorados de Culiacan.